Hello guys, this is Optometrist Akhilesh Kumar. This time Optometry Academy welcomes you all with the new video on agonist, synergies, antagonist and yoke muscles. Let's get started after the short intro. Agonist the primary muscle that moves an eye in a given direction is known as the agonist. For example, for producing abduction in right eye, the right lateral rectus muscle is agonist. Let's introduce a 3D eye model for better understanding. Here are some examples for right eye. For adduction, the agonist muscle is right medial rectus. For abduction, the agonist muscle is right lateral rectus. For superadduction, the agonist muscle is right superior rectus. For infraduction, the agonist muscle is right inferior rectus. For intorsion, the agonist muscle is right superior oblique. For extorsion, the agonist muscle is right inferior oblique. Let's move on synergies. The term synergist is used for muscle of the same eye that act to move the eye in the same direction. In other words, synergist muscle have common actions. For example, the superior oblique and the inferior rectus muscle both act as depressors. Therefore, they are synergies for infraduction. These muscles are not however synergies for horizontal or torsional rotation as the inferior rectus muscle is an adductor and extorter whereas the superior oblique muscle is an abductor and intorter. Here are lists of synergist muscle for various duction movements. For supraduction, the synergist muscles are superior rectus and inferior oblique. For infraduction, the synergist muscles are inferior rectus and superior oblique. For adduction, synergist muscles are medial rectus, superior rectus, and inferior rectus. For abduction, the synergist muscles are lateral rectus, superior oblique, and inferior oblique. For extorsion, synergist muscles are inferior oblique, inferior rectus. For intorsion, synergist muscles are superior oblique and superior rectus. Let's move on antagonist. These are the muscles having opposite action in the same eye, for example medial and lateral recti. Further as we know the superior rectus and inferior oblique from one eye act as synergistic elevator. However, in respect to torsion movements, they act as antagonists as the superior rectus produces intorsion while the inferior oblique produces extorsion. Each extraocular muscle has two synergists and two antagonists with exception of medial and lateral recti which have two synergists and three antagonists. Let's move on yoke muscles. It refers to a pair of muscles one from each eye which contract simultaneously during version movement. For example, right lateral rectus and left medial rectus muscle act as yoke muscle for dextroversion movement. The yoke muscle pair for six cardinal position of gaze are listed here in the table. For dextroversion, yoke muscle pairs are right lateral rectus and left medial rectus. For levoversion, yoke muscle pairs are left lateral rectus and right medial rectus. For dextro elevation, yoke muscle pairs are right superior rectus and left inferior oblique. For levo elevation, yoke muscle pairs are left superior rectus and right inferior oblique. For dextro depression, yoke muscle pairs are right inferior rectus and left superior oblique. For levo depression, yoke muscle pairs are left inferior rectus and right superior oblique. According to recent theories, a pair of muscles in one eye can be yoked with a pair in the other eye. For example, the elevators of one eye, superior rectus and inferior oblique muscles are yoked as a unit to the elevator to the fellow eye. Similarly, a pair of depressors of one eye are yoked with a pair of depressor from the fellow eye. Further yoking may change according to the different type of eye movements. For example, left medial rectus is yoked with right lateral rectus for dextroversion and with the right medial rectus for conversions. That's all from these topics. Kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.